Hi there. In this uh, presentation, what we're going to do is a little exercise in dplyr. Okay, I'm going to use the dplyr package, and my job here, the task is to determine the three highest airports in each of the time zones. Now, just as a sort of bit of background, there's a uh, in the NYC flights data set, there is a um, a data set, a data frame or a data set called airports. So NYC flights is actually a package, and in that is a data set called airports. And in it, uh, we have two variables: alt, which is altitude, and so and tz is time zone. Okay, so we're just going to use those basically. Uh, just as a sort of quick remark, you might actually get some unusual results here. So we have to find the three highest airports in each time zone. You notice that we have minus 11, there are just actually two airports. Uh, 5, 6, 7 and 8, there are also only two airports. So there is no top three. Okay, But let's just actually sort of park that for a second and just like uh, come back to that. And we'll sort of see how dplyr will handle that. Just as another remark actually. Uh, the time zones of some of these airports, you, you, the, or the, you might find them in very unusual places. Actually, if you look at the map, for example, in Alaska, the Aleutian Islands is that the time zones are, and so on are, you know, you, they're not actually, um, they're actually are, are quite uh, dispersed around the world. Actually, come think of it, Aleutian Islands actually means that the most wet, uh, easterly part of the U.S is in the Aleutian Islands. I'm not sure that's relevant to the time zones. I didn't actually check that. But anyway, they, you will find them in some ex unexpected places. Now, so what we're going to do here is let's go here and uh, control L to let's get this going now. It's jammed up. I'll just keep going here anyway. No, I won't. There we go. What is... There we go. Sorry about that. Now, head of airports. So this is data frame and the FFA code, the name of the airport, latitude, longitude, altitude and time zone. Uh, just off uh, the screen there is, uh, I'll, just, I'll just move this back a second, there we have, there's just one more variable there, DST. Most of the values for DST are uh, a, so I'm not going to worry about it. So what I'm going to be interested in are these two here, alt and time zone. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is I am going to group by um, time zone. Now another uh, thing here actually I should discuss is this thing called the Magritte package. Okay, and in that you would use this operator here. Okay. Now, in this exercise, I'm not going to do it, but I might do a very uh, a repeat this presentation using that um, uh, this pipe operator. So I'm just going to sort of, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to sort of just uh, not use that this time. But uh, it actually is something that, y if you do use it for this exercise, you might sort of see that it actually does work really well. But I'm just going to give it a miss this time. So. What we're going to do here is we are going to uh, group airports, and I'm going to call this AP2, airports2, group by uh, airports, and I'm going to group it by time zone. Okay, so far so good. Now, what we're going to do here now is we are going to um, arrange AP2 by altitude. Okay. Now, uh, this uh, the default setting here altitude that will be in ascending order. So that's actually in ascending order. If you just look at it here, uh, 63, 125. Then we go into the next time zone, four, uh, four and uh, 13. Okay, and so on. So that's actually not what we want. What we have to do here is go in descending order. So how do we do that? Just put it in descending order. And does that work for us? Seems to. Okay. So I'm going to just save that as airport three. Okay. Now we have 
the essentially what I want to do is print off a list of the three highest airports. So I need the top three from each grouping here. Okay. And for example, we have ten. We have quite a few uh, airports in zone in the time zone minus ten. But I only want the top three. Then I want to go to time, uh, time zone nine and get the top three. So the command here we're going to use is called slice. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to slice airport three, and I'm going to take the top three um, airports from each group. Okay and so on. So now I'm actually just this is a sort of a, a thing that a, a airport or a deep player will do. This is deep player TBL table I think is how it's pronounced. Uh, but essentially what I have here is I only have two airports from time zone 11 and I have them in ascending order. I have three airports in time zone minus 10 sorry minus 11 and minus 10 and I have three airports, the three highest airports in time zone minus nine, and so on. It doesn't print out the full thing. Uh, but what I might do there is I'm just going to save that as AP4. And let's have a look at this uh, view a AP4. Oops, capital V. This is a deep power command just to see the whole thing. This brings up a um, a um, sort of spreadsheet type interface. So it's actually really cool. Uh, it actually works even better in um, R Studio. But there we have all of them there, and yeah, that's it. So that's the uh, that's the sort of a uh, little report giving us the top three airports in terms of altitude in each of the time zones. Now. Uh, you could do the most westerly, the most easterly, the most northerly based on lat and long, or the the, mo the, the lowest airports in terms of altitude. Or you could apl apply all of this logic to different um, uh, data sets for different research questions. Let's just go down here. There we have all the other ones there. The time zones where there is only one or two airports. Alright, that's great. That's the little airport exercise done.